What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining us, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. All right guys, on today's video, we're gonna show you how to create VLANs. We're gonna show you how to do this with cloud-based software on an eight port switch. And what I show you today will work on any cloud-based software and any layer two PoE managed switch. So today, we're gonna create three or four VLANs that will work with most home situations. And remember, label all ethernet cables going into your switch. This makes creating VLANs much easier. And like most homes, you have an office, a game room or media room, bedrooms, and even PoE cameras. So we're gonna create VLANs for all those areas in your home. And if you're interested in creating VLANs on a Cisco switch, I have some older videos that show you that process. However, I doubt that you have a Cisco switch in your home. For one, they're very expensive, and two, they take a lot of knowledge to program. So the cloud-based software we're gonna to use today is Ingenious Cloud. If you have a different cloud-based software, the menus will look different, but all the settings options will be available in the software somewhere. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell notification. So let's get started. All right, guys, the first thing you wanna do is access your switch through your cloud-based software. And this is our switch dashboard. And as you can see, there's plenty of settings, but we're gonna focus on VLAN settings. So the first thing we have to do is create some VLANs. And we're gonna create four VLANs. So first go to add VLAN. In VLAN ID, go ahead and give it a number. And we're gonna use 10. And then we're gonna name it game room. When you name a VLAN, give it a location name or device name, and then hit apply. And that's your first VLAN. Congratulations. We're gonna do three more. So once again, add VLAN. ID will be 20, and we'll name it office. Hit apply. Then go back to add VLAN. VLAN ID will be 30, and we'll name it bedroom. And once again, hit apply. And add VLAN one more time. VLAN ID 40. And it's ring PoE camera. And then hit apply. We've now created four VLANs. Next, we need to assign ports to these VLANs. So now go back to the switch. And click on this information tab. And then the ports will pop down. And go to details. And from here, you can see the ports, VLAN, mirror, PoE scheduling, link aggregation, and logs. So click on VLAN, and from here, we can add the ports to the VLANs. And this is why it's so important to label your cables. It makes assigning ports to VLANs very easy. No guesswork. And we'll start with game room. We're gonna use untagged ports for all our VLANs. In our game room is on ports two and three, Hit the blue check mark and then hit apply. And next is office. And the office is on ports five and six. Hit the blue check mark and then hit apply. Okay, next is bedroom. And bedroom is on port four and seven. Hit the blue check mark and then hit apply. And lastly is the ring camera. And that's on port eight. Hit the blue check mark and then hit apply. Now all of our VLANs have ports assigned to them. Now we can go make some adjustments to each port. And I'll show you a few of these settings. So now click on ports. So click on the port one and go to configure. So a couple settings I'm gonna focus on is PoE priority and then QoS, quality of service. And these are all the settings. You can see all the settings on my ports. Some have high priority. And this all depends on each port that you're using and what it's used for. And the same thing will go with the QoS. You can even set up rate limits for receive and transmit if you want. I'm gonna leave the speeds on auto for all the ports. Once again, these settings are all based on your configuration of your home network and what's your priorities. 
For us, it's the game room, and then our office, and then bedrooms, and then the ring camera. And what's cool about this software, you can configure two ports at the same time, or even three, or four, or five, or all the ports, which is really convenient. You can disable ports or enable ports. You can have port isolation. You can turn off flow control. There's so much you can do. And the last thing I want to talk about is QoS. Just remember the lower the number, the higher the priority. Well guys, that's it. We created VLANs. We assigned ports to those VLANs. We made some additional settings to those ports. And I explained a little bit about these settings and what they do. And once again, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I answer all questions. And guys, if you made it this far, congratulations. You're awesome. And once again, I wanna thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And we'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.